close your eyes and watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. You want to be right there with the breath. You don't want to go anywhere else. Remember to stay right here. You have to keep reminding yourself, because the mind can so easily slip off and think about and pay attention to other things. This quality of remembering is mindfulness, and it's one of our protectors as meditators. As we create protection for ourselves inside, this is one of the most important ones. Because you can learn all kinds of things, but then if you forget them, they don't have any use for you. It's the ability to remember. That's what mindfulness is, keeping something in mind. Like all right, right now you keep in mind the fact you want to stay with the breath. And then if you, want to, if you wander off, you want to remember. As soon as you catch yourself wandering off, you come right back. Without mindfulness, who knows where the mind would end up in the course of five minutes, to say nothing of the, going through the day. So right now you want to keep remembering. Come back to the breath. Come back to the breath. Don't let the mind wander off and listen to noises outside or think about what we're going to have for, for the meal today or whatever else. We're right here, right now. And this is how we protect ourselves. Now, how do you strengthen mindfulness? Well, part of it, of course, is by doing the meditation. But it also depends on how you live your life. As the Buddha said, you need to have virtue for your mindfulness to be strong. Now, why is that? Well, one is when you make up your mind you're going to observe a precept, you have to remember the precept. Otherwise, you're going to break it. And then secondly, when you're able to observe the precepts, that means you look back on your behavior and there's nothing you want to forget, nothing, none harm that you've done anybody, either to yourself or to your other people. It's when we realize that we've done harm that the mind likes to put up a wall and seal things off, pretend that something didn't happen. And that's what harms mindfulness. If you keep up putting all these little walls in your mind, after a while you can't remember anything at all. So to keep the mind wide open, you want to make sure that your life is a life without any harm. You're not harming anybody. If they harm you, that's their business, but you don't have to harm anybody else. Because if you think back on times when you've intentionally harm somebody, it's a hard memory to hold in mind. You don't like to think about it. And the Buddha has you remember that, he says, okay, don't cover it up. Remember that you, you caused harm and you resolve not to do it again. And then you spread goodwill for yourself and all beings. Goodwill for other beings makes reminds you, okay, you don't want to harm anybody else. And goodwill for yourself means that you really do wish for your own true happiness. You don't come down on yourself as being a bad person. And this way you can keep things open in the mind. Okay, there are mistakes you've made, but you can learn from them. Once you've learned from them, okay, you, that becomes part of your mindfulness. As, as does anything that you've done that was skillful. The times when you meditated in the past and you found a technique that worked, okay, you remember that, you apply that. And this way mindfulness becomes your protector. You're not left here in the present moment without any guidance at all. Because as the Buddha said, what our time when we're feeling most bewildered and at least protected is when we don't know what to do. We don't know what's skillful, what's not skillful. And so mindfulness helps remind us. Okay, We've learned from the past that certain things are unskillful. You act on greed, aversion, and delusion, it's going to be unskillful. So you try to remember these things so that when something new comes up, you can apply the principles that you've learned from the past to the present moment. And that's how you keep yourself protected. Because the biggest danger in life doesn't come from other people, it comes from your own unskillful actions. So anything that protects you from doing things unskillful is a protector that you want to nourish inside. And mindfulness is one of the most important ones, because whatever else you've learned, you've got to remember it in, in order for it to be useful. So work on looking at your life, making sure you stick with the precepts, and when you meditate, try to be as mindful as possible. As soon as you catch yourself wandering off in the breath, bring yourself right back. It's not, you don't have to take any time to tie up the loose ends of the thoughts or see where they're going. You just drop them and come right back. When thoughts get dropped, they don't break. There's no, there's no damage done there. So in, this, in this way, that mindfulness keeps you right here and keeps you remembering what you should be doing right here. And that's the way you're protected. <laughs>